Hello everyone, as promised, I'll be showing you my recipe for the lovely cauliflower. Yes, it doesn't sound that nice, but it is. Um, it's a cauliflower based, pizza based, cauliflower pizza crust. Okay, starting off, I'm going to make quite a big pizza, because we have a lot of people. So normally I would use one head of cauliflower for, say about there are four people but then, even then it's going to be quite a lot i like to have more so there's a, available for the next day breakfast whatever okay so i'm going to use one and a half heads of cauliflower always make sure your knife is sharp enough lad or lads okay so to make this easy on yourself i'm going to count these make life so much easier um, some of you may have a bigger one some of you may have a, a hopefully not a smaller one because that's going to be a pain in the back side um, sorry if you don't have that a grater can work sorry the light is bad there a grater can work just as good it's just going to take a bit more time because first you need to make a cauliflower rice so I'm going to chop the cauliflower up into pieces. Um, I'm going to put it into this little bucket thingy and chop it into tiny little pieces. Okay, so I'm doing about a less than a quarter piece, a quarter head at a time. I've chopped it into quarter pieces. Then I've broken it up into small little pieces like that. And put my lid on. This is going to make a bit of noise. Ah, oh, damn, done a power. That sucks. You don't want it too fine. So that's more or less what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to do all the rest and then I'll show you the uh, rest of the recipe or the, uh, the method, but later. Okay, so after chopping up all that cauliflower, um, that's basically what I've got here. So it's a nice, fine rice substance. That pink there, I've just added some pink Himalayan salt to it. The reason for that is obviously for the taste, and also the salt helps to take the moisture out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do next. This is very, very wet, and you don't want a wet mixture of cauliflower. Um, you want to dry this out. Method to do that. First up, two minutes in the microwave. Um, once it's coming out of the microwave, it's going to be quite hot. I'm going to put it in a, um, call it a, a dish drying towel. And I'm going to actually squeeze out all the moisture. Give it enough. I read it for two minutes, but because I'm making more than usual, um, I'll put it back in for another minute. So yeah, it does depend on the amount you've got in there because it wasn't hot enough. And you want it pretty decently hot. Steam must be coming out. But remember, you are going to touch this stuff, so you don't want it cooking. Okay, so take a, make sure to take a clean cloth. Sometimes it is quite, quite hot to the touch here. Then you can see the, all the moisture coming out. So take it in your in your cloth, and then you're going to twist it around, and you'll see the the water start coming out. <coughs> the more water you can get out, the better for your base at the end. Make sure to give it a good squeeze. Okay, once you're happy with that, I'll put it back in this bucket again 
and it's going back in the microwave. I'm going to microwave it for three minutes at a time. Maybe I'll make it three and a half because it's a bigger mixture. And then after every time I'm going to give it a twirl around. Um, I'm going to mix it around. So, so you basically want to cook this now, but not with the moisture in. You want to I'm going to heat it up every time just a bit. You can already, already see it's, it's a, like a more fluffier version. Okay, so while you've got the microwave going in the background, let me show you other ingredients. I've got some bacon that I got from, um, what's that place called? Uh, Cab Foods. Um, I showed you a video of Cab Foods the other day. They, that bacon is it's a very good price. Um, I've got butter. I've got actually I've got some bananas I'm gonna put on. I know that's not really keto friendly, but we really want some a little bit of bananas on there for tonight. I've got some peppers and mushroom. You can use onions as well. Um, ach, there's quite a lot of stuff you can put on, but that's that's what I've got for tonight. So in the meantime, I'm gonna start chopping that up and frying that. Um, let's see. Oh, microwave still going. Okay, so I've done that three times now. That was the last time coming out of the microwave. Um, so the reason for this is you basically want to cook this um, and also you want to get as much as possible moisture out there. So it's got this fluffy look to it. Then what we're doing, once it's cooled down, I'm going to use, I'm going to Put in three eggs on one head of cauliflower you would use two eggs and normally I would use on one head of cauliflower and they use um, one and a half cup of cheese. All right that's what the mix looks like now that's after the eggs and the cheese that I added there's my toppings uh, okay so the cheese that you use in the base is mozzarella works the best there and then I've got the other cheese is cheddar cheese and I'm going to use that on the toppings and I'm going to build the pizza quickly uh, make sure to use baking paper on your baking tray uh, and, and the oven goes I'll, I'll, I'll put this all in um, writing as well oven goes on 220 degrees so pre preheat that that so long in the meantime Okay, so I put all the dough on the baking tray um, and I just want to show you how I flatten it and shape it. You can um, use another piece of baking paper on top and actually use a roller to roll this out as well. Okay, so I did use the roller at the end and there you can see what the base looks like now. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes on 220 degrees or until you've got the right color but 220 20 minutes more or less what you're looking at time is up let's have a look and that's what we're looking for on the base and a nice golden color. Now I'm going to build my pizza. How does that look? Just take, take that. That's my finger. That's the pizza. Man, that looks good. Okay, so now it goes into the oven. Just until the, so all the toppings are fried in butter and if you wonder if you've got enough cheese on there, just add some more, you know, just make sure. Like, just grab a handful more and just add whatever you can on there. And uh, then it goes back in the oven for, I think, about another 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, yeah. Perfecto. Yeah, that was a perfect pizza. Yummy!